to avoid becoming infatuated with a necker. Recently, a new phenomenon has emerged, sprouting from the depths of Tartarus itself. It has arrived as a snake oil salesman does, initially charming and charismatic, albeit eventually leaving a wreckage of destruction in its wake. Already, this malignant beast has succeeded in corrupting portions of our youth, causing them to become brainwashed to drivel who worship furry beasts. What is this foul apparition, you may ask? Why, it is a necker, a hybrid of a wolf and a human, concocted in a nefarious experiment, being designed for one sole purpose, to disrupt the masses. Individuals believe that neckers are attractive, which I must bellow is absolutely preposterous, for I am perce perceptibly more attractive. However, alas, it does not appear to matter. Since the Neko's charms are proving too potent for the vast population, I have decided to take control of the helm and steer us into a realm of decency and truth. This guide as such it will be proclaiming how to avoid infatuation towards a Neko, and why it is unwise to develop an attraction towards one of the Neko species. Neko Biography The species known as Neko originates from Japan, provided, uh, sorry, produced after rowdy Japanese youth filled to the brim with narcotics proceeded to breed with lynxes and wolves. The aftermath of this co a copy copulation produced none other than the Neko, an affront to it all of civilized, on all civilized society, I can't read. The Nekos bore similar attributes to humans, however, they were discernible due to a number of giveaways. Firstly, they were born with ears, which functioned similarly to a cat's, providing them with advanced hearing. Secondly, they had a tail that, after scientific and forensic research, is the most susceptible part of the Neko. Lastly, the Neko communicates in some strange, indecipherable language, resembling a Russian and a bird chirping. There are other, way, other various distinctive features, such as the enhanced eyesight. However, those previously mentioned are the most prominent in a Neko. <laughs> Physiologically, this species has. Uh, sorry, that's psychologically. Psychologically, this species has adapted to human society and have the ability and the will to exploit humans with their seductive, seemingly innocent, and alluring charm. This is an example, I presume, as is this, I presume. Insidious aspects of a Neko. The Neko is an insidious sinister creature. The unknown in Polish folklore is the Agura, creatures who steal elven-blooded children at night, bewitching these children to follow them in their dark, ominous caves. In these caves, the elven children are then polymorphed into Nekos or Vixen. Commit committing acts of this magnitude is an effort uh, on, of this magnitude is an affront on decent society. It is believed that this is an alternative way for the Aguras or Neko to reproduce. It is a well-known fact that ever since the birth of the Neko, they harbour an indist uh, instinctive resentment towards mankind, and will strive at all costs to incur divine wrath upon the denizens of humanity. This is evident by pre pre, 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 pre sorry by pre predescent predescent pre. Precedent. Precedent. Precedents which have shown Neko's exploiting relationship with humans, never forming a steady mutual bond and instead having an ulterior motive. As an additional note, I would like to add that Neko's are effectively literal animals, making it slightly peculiar to develop an infatuation and desire to breed with one. 
Furthermore, breeding with Hineko ventures into the territory of having malformed children, making an average isolated tribe appear genetically healthy in comparison. Neko propaganda. The stalwart supporters of Nekos have made it their mission to sp that's the wrong guy. Their mission to sp spread propaganda and indulge the masses with various Neko and cat girl artworks, which serve as nothing more than indoctrination. Various videos making light of the situation or even divulging the basics on cat and girl ownership are exactly the tools of propaganda which are employed to subvert the masses. Our youth are being controlled in front of our of our one very eyes in front of in front of our very eyes to devote themselves to the way of the Neko. The image below depicts Sonic, a mutated Neko who is advertised by Sony. Sony has notable Neko tendencies and strong believes in Neko copulation. Meaning that the fact remains simple. The company wishes to use their vast influence for insidious purposes. Essentially, they wish to garner large amounts of popularity for this figure called Sonic to ensure that our youth remains captivated by Neko influences. It may appear distressing, but unfortunately that is not all. As you can see, join the force. Sonic, nice, nice. The image below depicts a seemingly innocent and pure Neko, one who wishes for nothing more than to frolic underneath a starry sky, with the cool breeze enveloping her. It remain that's not capitalized, it remains simple. Images such as these are solely propaganda utilized to exploit humanity's tender personality. Ultimately, do not fall prey to these inherently deceptive images how to resist a seductive Neko. It remains simple that at some point in your life a Neko will attempt to seduce you. When this time arises, you must be wholly prepared for the event. Below is a list of comprehensive steps in order to combat the Neko's charms. A way to resist a Neko's charms is to simply devote yourself to saving Rivalon from the giant acorn. Following I, Dr. Quirk, Quercus, by in by engaging in such a heroic act, you grow uh, you growing romantic bond with the Neko it will turn plutonic. This is Divinity Two Original Sin Definitive Edition. Uh, maybe that's not in order. If a Neko, um, uh, sorry, but maybe uh, whatever. If a Neko ever attempts to seduce you, simply shoot her, possibly with a hunting rifle or a Western themed revolver. Always carry around a hose, for in the event that a Neko attempts to seduce you with her illicit charms, you will be able to spray away that unwanted pest with high velocity and precision. If you are being beguiled, 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 if you are being beguiled online and are gradually developing an attraction to a Neko, then only one option remains. Utterly, as an, uh, utterly annihilate and destroy your computer or whatever vessel you use to acquire Neko photographs. Afterwards, possibly seek some time in solitude, taking solace with playing Skyrim on the Nintendo Switch or Witcher 3 on the PS4. Conclusive order. Truly, these are troubling times. But alas, we must be prudent and wary of, the th of threats. I hereby order all to retract whatever contract they have signed with any Neko, and instead sail down a different channel, one that is not plagued with furry creatures who resemble foxes, lynx uh, lynxes, kittens, and wolves. Remember, Nekos aren't real. To fawn over them is a futile act. Below will feature an anti-Neko pamphlet which is imperative to send throughout the world in a an attempt to secure a victory in creating a wholesome society once again. Nords arise, Nords arise, throw off the shackles of Neko oppression. Do not bow to the yoke of a false waifu. Be true to your blood, to your homeland. The Neko tells us we cannot simply 
up to, we cannot worship holy Talus. How can man set aside a god? How can a true lord of humanity cast aside the gods that arose from our own heartland? Mighty Boris Johnson himself, the first emperor, conqueror of all the world, ascended to godhood to sit at the right hand of Akatosh. Boris Johnson, a true son of Britain, born in the land of snow and blood, bred to the honor of our people, now it is now Boris, a god of might and honor. The Neko has no right to tell us we cannot worship him. Our own high king Sony betrayed us to the Neko. He traded our god for peace. He agreed to a pact with the Neko, signed by an emperor in a foreign land. Are we to be holden to such a pact? No, a thousand times no. We do not let the lessons of history go unheeded. The Neko Dome, uh, D Dominion and its Neko masters made up that made war upon men, just as the Neko made war upon Yskrimor, and our people in ancient times, shining Sarfal, were burned was burned to the ground, reduced to ruins, and rebel in their treacherous assault. But Yskrimor and his sons gathered the five hundred champions and made war upon the Neko, casting them out of Britain. In the great war fought by our fathers, the Neko betrayed man by attacking us unprovoked. The Dominion and the Neko cannot be trusted. Like Yzgrimor, Ulfric Stormcloak is a true hero of Britain. His name will ring in Sovereign Guard for generations to come. Only he has the courage to single out King Sony and challenge him to trial by arms. Ulfric's thumb, a, thumb gave a gift from Boris himself. He struck down his traitorous leader, and by his death we are now free of our imperial shackles and the Neko overlords that darken the imperial throne. The Empire has set its Neko legions to gov govern us. They have enlisted our own countrymen to their cause. They have set brother against brother, father against son. They have caused Britain to battle itself in their name for their cause. Do not let them divide us. Do not let them conquer us. Reject the imperial law that forbid, uh, forbid the worship of Boris. Join Ulfric Stormcloak and his cause. And that's how to avoid becoming infatuated with an echo. <laughs>